रहमान रहीम अस्सलाम वालेकुम डियर स्टूडेंट्स आई होप यू ऑल आर फाइन एंड फिट टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट यूनिट 14 कंपाउंड्स एंड मिक्सचर स्टूडेंट्स लर्निंग आउटकम्स आफ्टर कंप्लीटिंग दिस चैप्टर स्टूडेंट्स विल बी एबल टू डिफरेंशिएट बिटवीन एलिमेंट कंपाउंड्स एंड मिक्सचर एक्सप्लेन द डीकम्पोजिशन रिएक्शन एंड इट्स टाइप्स explain why air considered is a mixture of gases differentiate between endothermic and exothermic reaction let's learn about elements what are elements elements are pure substances they are made up of only one kind of atom elements pure substances hote hain aur elements only one kind of atom ke bane hue hote hain and elements can be separated into anything simpler cannot be separated into anything simpler than a single atoms elements cannot be further divided into simpler substances and there are 118 known elements discovered till today okay and these all elements are kept in this periodic table and students you must have seen this periodic table in your book so there are some example of elements given gold silver sodium chlorine neon these all are elements and they are kept in the periodic table which is known as periodic table of elements and elements are represented by their symbols in the periodic table take an example of elements elements are composed of only one type of atom okay example number 1 focus on example number 1 this is a oxygen atom so this oxygen atom is made up of two oxygen atoms but same atom is present here only one type of atom oxygen so this is called the element here another example is about neon so n e is the symbol for the neon neon is an element and n e is symbol for the neon so this neon element is made up of only neon atoms only one type of atom is present in this element so this is called element and next is compounds what are compounds two or more different elements join together to form a compounds compounds bante hain jab two or more than two different elements combine hote hain to compounds banta hai right and all compounds are molecules jo bhi compounds hote hain hum usko molecules bhi kehte hain h2o is a compound and we can say and we can call it a molecule carbon dioxide is compound and we can we can also call it a molecule so h2o here in this diagram you can see two hydrogen atom and one oxygen atom hydrogen and oxygen are two different elements combined together to form a molecule water take an example of another examples of compound compounds are composed of more than one type of atoms that are bonded stuck together example number 1 this is the formula for the water h2o here there are two types of atom hydrogen and oxygen so it is called compound another example to alo aluminum oxide al is a symbol for the aluminum and o symbol for the oxygen so this aluminum oxide is made up of two type of atoms aluminum and oxygen so this is called compound how can compounds be broken down kya hum compounds ko broken down break down kar sakte hain yes compounds can be broken down into a simpler substances again by the process of decomposition let's clear the word decomposition what is decomposition 
the word decomposition means to separate or break down break down into smaller pieces in a decomposition reaction one substance breaks down into two or more products decomposition reaction mein ek substance ek molecule ek compound break karte hain into two or more than two simpler substances mein usko hum decomposition reaction kehte hain aur decomposition ka matlab ye hai to break down into smaller pieces means to separate okay take an example of decomposition reaction decomposition reaction occur when a compound break up into the elements are in a few to simpler compounds this is a general example of decomposition reaction ab is a molecule take an external example ab is a molecule and when this molecule decompose it will convert it into a simpler substance a and b so a and b are two products and ab is a reactant example h2o when h2o decompose it converted into hydrogen and oxygen two elements which are present in this a molecule when this molecule is decompose it will again converted into simpler substances types of decomposition reaction there are three types of decomposition reaction thermal decomposition reaction photo decomposition reaction electric decomposition reaction first is thermal decomposition reaction what is thermal decomposition reaction the decomposition reaction caused by heat is called thermal decomposition reaction ऐसा डिकम्पोजिशन रिएक्शन जो हीट की वजह से हो उसको हम थर्मल डिकम्पोजिशन रिएक्शन कहते हैं सो दिस इज द एग्जाम्पल एंड इक्वेशन फॉर द थर्मल डिकम्पोजिशन रिएक्शन कैल्शियम कार्बोनेट इज अ कंपाउंड सी ए सी ओ थ्री इट इज कॉमनली नोन एज लाइम स्टोन इसको हम कॉमनली चूने का पत्थर कहते हैं वेन इट इज हीटेड इट विल कन्वर्टेड इन टू कैल्शियम ऑक्साइड एंड कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड let's see this example practically this is a compound calcium carbonate which we have kept in a test tube and test tube is in a test tube stand when it is heated this compound is heated it will break into a two simpler compounds further this complex compound will break up will decompose into two simpler compounds calcium oxide and carbon dioxide is produced when it is heated so this decomposition reaction is known as thermal decomposition reaction electric decomposition reaction the decomposition reaction caused by electric current is called electric decomposition reaction decomposition reaction jisme electric current use hota hai usko hum electric decomposition reaction kehte hain here is example of electric decomposition reaction h2o water when we pass electricity or current through a water it will convert it into two simpler elements or two simpler atoms hydrogen and oxygen so this is called this decomposition is known as electric decomposition take another example of electric uh, decomposition reaction it is also known as electrolysis electric decomposition is also known as electrolysis when you check a salt sodium chloride it is commonly known as salt which we used at our homes so when you take a salt in a beaker and pass a electric current through it so this sodium chloride will decompose into the sodium and chlorine by 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 passing electric current through it photo decomposition reaction 
The decomposition reaction caused by light is called photo decomposition reaction. Decomposition reaction जो light की presence में हो उसको हम photo decomposition reaction कहते हैं Take an example of photo decomposition reaction. Students, you have to uh, check two grams of silver chloride in a china dish. You must have seen the china dish in chemistry lab. So, two uh, grams of silver chloride you have to check in a china dish. And then place this china dish in the presence of sunlight, in the sunlight for some time. This is the sunlight and you have to place this china uh, dish having silver chloride, 2 grams of silver chloride. After some time, students, you will observe this silver chloride will convert, will turn into gray color on exposure to the sunlight. See this chemical reaction in the equation. This is the silver chloride compound. In the presence of sunlight, silver chlorized chloride decomposes into silver and chlorine, two simpler substances. So this type of decomposition reaction is known as photo decomposition reaction. Photo ka matlab hota hai light and photo decomposition reaction is also known as photolysis. Another example of the Photolysis is silver bromide. Silver bromide AG is the symbol for the silver and BR is the symbol for the bromide. Undergoes decomposition reaction when exposed to light in the presence of sunlight. Silver bromide converted into silver and a bromine. So these are two simpler substances which are decomposed by the presence of sunlight. This is called the photo decomposition reaction now students let's learn about mixture what is mixture mixture is a combination of many different elements and mixture is not chemically combined mixture is physically combined example you can see here this is a trial mix Trial mix mean it is it consists of combination of uh, uh, dry fruits. So you can separate this dry fruit. You can separate the elements from the uh, grains and other uh, things. You can separate it. So this is a physically combined, not chemically combined. This is called a mixture. And take an example, another example of mixture. Air is a mixture. Air, you must feel the air but you cannot see the air because air is invisible and air consists of so many gases such as nitrogen, oxygen, carbon dioxide and other gases. So their composition is shown in this pie chart. The nitrogen in the air is 78%, oxygen in the air is 21%, Carbon dioxide, water vapors and other gases are present 1% in the air. So air is a composition of so many gases. And these gases are very useful, important and useful. Oxygen is used for the respiration and the nitrogen it is also uh, used for many purposes. And the carbon dioxide used for uh, plants use it water vapors and other gases are also useful and you can uh, separate these gases from the air take one example how you can how we can separate the uh, water molecules or other gases from the air because uh, these gases are not physically combined are not chemically combined sorry not chemically combined they are physically combined so we can separate them separation of water vapors from air students this is a simple experiment to separate the water vapors from the air take an empty glass and fill this empty glass with the ice cube after some time you will observe 
little droplets on the surface of the gloss from where these little droplets come these little droplets come from the atmosphere from the air present in the air so this is this proof that water vapors are present water vapors present in the air and can be separated in this way next topic is exothermic and endothermic reactions what is exothermic and endothermic reactions what are these exothermic reaction from the term exo you can understand the definitions so exo exo mean outer and therm mean heat endo mean inside and therm mean heat what are the definition of exothermic and endothermic reactions a reaction in which heat is given out is exothermic reaction एक ऐसा रिएक्शन जिसमें हीट प्रोड्यूस हो उसको हम एक्सोथर्मिक रिएक्शन कहते हैं अ रिएक्शन इन विच हीट इज टैक इन इन इज एंडोथर्मिक रिएक्शन एक ऐसा रिएक्शन जिसमें हीट एड हो उसको हम एंडोथर्मिक रिएक्शन कहते हैं एंडोथर्मिक एंड एक्सोथर्मिक रिएक्शंस। देर आर टू मेन इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स रिलेटेड विथ एंडो एंड एक्सोथर्मिक रिएक्शन नंबर वन एनर्जी मस्ट बी सप्लाई टू ब्रेक केमिकल बॉन्ड्स टू ब्रेक द केमिकल बॉन्ड्स ऑफ द एटम्स एनर्जी सप्लाइड सो दिस टाइप ऑफ रिएक्शन इज नोन एज एंडोथर्मिक रिएक्शन एनर्जी इज एडेड इन दिस रिएक्शन इन एंडोथर्मिक रिएक्शन एंड दिस सेकेंड पॉइंट इज अबाउट एक्सोथर्मिक रिएक्शन एनर्जी इज रिलीज वेन द केमिकल बॉन्ड्स आर मेड from making the chemical bonds energy is released energy is produced it is not added energy is released and in this reaction energy is supplied energy is added but in exothermic reaction energy is released in the next examples exothermic and endothermic reaction This is example of exothermic reaction. You may also say exothermic process, a chemical reaction that releases heat. एक ऐसा chemical reaction जिसमें heat release हो, उसको हम exothermic reaction कहते हैं. So this is example burning of wood. Or you may also check another example burning of candle. So in this energy is released. एनर्जी इज रिलीज फ्राम द सिस्टम टू द सराउंडिंग सराउंडिंग इन्वायरमेंट गर्म हो जाता है एंड फ्राम सिस्टम टू द सराउंडिंग टेम्परेचर ऑफ द सराउंडिंग इंक्रीज इन एक्सोथर्मिक प्रोसेस एनर्जी क्योंकि रिलीज हो रही है एंड इन द नेक्स्ट एंडोथर्मिक रिएक्शन एग्जाम्पल इज ऑफ फोटोसेंथिस फोटोसेंथिस इज एग्जाम्पल ऑफ एंडोथर्मिक रिएक्शन that requires heat it requires the heat energy input from the sun so this type of reaction is known as endothermic reaction and in this reaction in photosynthesis when energy is supplied by the sun mean energy is added in this reaction and the temperature of the surrounding drops decreases and its system temperature increases so this type of reaction is known as endothermic reaction or you may say endothermic process students allow face